What's up everybody? I'm Hoops and Hip Hop and I am back. It's been a few weeks since I last posted and I do have a reason for that, but I am back and I am ready to go and give you guys tons more content. Before we start that though, I am going to give you guys an explanation as to why I was gone. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, which you really should because that way you can find about find out about these things instantly, I for the last few weeks had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life which really kind of made it hard to do videos and so I decided that it was best to just take a step away because I just was not really in a good place to make videos. However, I'm kind of working through that right now, I've got a lot of content prepared and I'm ready to come back so we are ready to go and I also actually have some new music as well some new original music that I will talk to you guys about later it should be ready by the time this video goes live if everything goes according to plan so I will talk to you guys about that after the video is over so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the video now, as any Pokemon fan would know, all of our opinions are vastly different. I might like a Pokemon that you hate, and you might hate a Pokemon that I like. It's really the beauty of the franchise since there's a wide variety of Pokemon that are liked by different people for different reasons. However, there are some Pokemon out there that are genuinely unpopular by a majority of the fan base for whatever reason. However, there are also a handful of those unpopular Pokemon that when I look at them, I say, you know, I don't really dislike you at all. In fact, I think I actually like you. So today I am going to be talking about my top five unpopular Pokemon that I secretly love. Now, I haven't really mentioned any of these Pokemon or my love for any of these Pokemon too often, so this should be a nice surprise and there's some very interesting picks on here that you might, that might leave you scratching your head as to why I like them. So without further ado, let's get started. Now starting the list at number 5 is Rhyperior. Now I understand why a lot of people don't like Rhyperior, and it's simply because the general vast majority believes that it didn't live up to the expectation that a lot of people had with a ride on evolution. If you were like me when you were a kid, you always imagined evolutions for Pokemon that were already fully evolved because you just kind of wanted to see that Pokemon get more love and get another form because it just would be the greatest thing ever. And in Generation 4 that happened for a lot of Pokemon, Ry Rhydon included when it evolved into Rhyperior. However, a lot of people just were kind of disappointed with Rhyperior, whether it be for its design or its looks or whatever, they just didn't think it was as good as it could have been. And while I do agree that Rhyperior could have been better, I have no problem with, what, with it whatsoever and I absolutely really like it a lot. The reason why I really like it a lot is simply because it's quite literally a childhood dream come true. Like I said, I was always imagining evolutions for fully evolved Pokemon, and Rhydon was specifically one of those Pokemon that I imagined an evolution for, and up until Generation 4, I never ever thought it would happen, and it actually happened. So even though, yes, I agree that Rhyperior could be a little bit better, it's really a dream come true to have that sort of Pokemon even exist in general, and for that reason, I have no problem problem with it and so that's why it makes the number 5 spot. Next up at number 4 is another Generation 4 Pokemon that is an evolution of a previous Pokemon and that is Licky Licky. And oh boy do I have a lot to say about Licky Licky. Pretty much anyone you talk to will say that Licky Licky sucks, it's terrible, it's so derpy looking, it's awful, it should have never been made. Well, you know what? I don't really think that way. I actually like Licky Licky and have no problem with it whatsoever. The reasoning I hear a lot of the time for why people don't like Licky Licky and by extension maybe Lickitung is that it's a derpy Pokemon, it looks stupid, it really shouldn't look the way it does, or etc etc something to that effect. Well, when I think about that reasoning, I mean, I do get that you might not like a Pokemon if you think it looks stupid, but I mean, at the same time, not every Pokemon has to look super awesome, super cool, or super cute. The beauty of Pokemon is that there, a, there are a wide variety of them and they fit every little niche. If we had every single Pokemon looking super awesome like Lucario or Greninja or Mewtwo, then they wouldn't really be as special because they would just be, every Pokemon would be like that. 
By extension, if we had every Pokemon looking super cute, like Rowlet or Pikachu or Igglybuff or any one of those other awesome, really cute, cute Pokemon, it just wouldn't be as special because every Pokemon would be that way. It would turn into a cookie cutter sort of situation. So the fact that we do have some derpy, funny looking Pokemon like Licky Licky adds variety to the Pokedex. And not only does it make you appreciate those cool and those cute Pokemon more, but it also just gives you an appreciation for Pokemon in general because you are now able to appreciate a wider variety of types of Pokemon. So basically, I like it for its derpiness because we got to have a few derpy Pokemon here and there because it's Pokemon. It's like I said, not every Pokemon needs to be super cool or super cute. And I think Licky Licky is great just the way it is. So that's why it's number four. Number three is another derpy Pokemon similar to Licky Licky, and it's yet another Gen 4 evolution Pokemon, and that would be Probopass. Now, Probopass probably gets as much hate as Licky Licky for much of the same reason. It's derpy, it's stupid, why does it have a mustache, its nose is even bigger, what's going on with that hat, yada 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 yada. Basically, people hate it because it's stupid looking. And while I agree it does look really goofy, it's the same thing as Licky Licky. Not every Pokemon needs to be super cool, not every Pokemon needs to be super cute. It's okay to have a few derps in there, and I love Probopass for filling that role. Another reason why I really love Probopass is actually specifically for its design. Yes, people give it a lot of flack for that mustache. Well, you know, that mustache wasn't just put there for the purpose of having Probopass have a mustache. It's actually rocks that have magnetized to Probopass's face because it's the magnetic Pokemon, it's a compass, and it's got magnetism, so those are actually rocks that are attached to its face due to the magnetism that just so happen to form a mustache. I think those kind of design aspects are really creative and ingenious, frankly, on the part of Game Freak because they create something essentially with a double meaning. So I really like those kinds of things, and the fact that Probopass has that is actually really freaking cool. And as for the hat, Obviously, uh, Nosepass and Probopass are partially based on the Easter Island heads, and a lot of those Easter Island heads actually have those hats that Probopass has. So its design is completely justified. Like I said, it's okay to have a few derps in there, and that's why I love Probopass. <laughs> Now number two is not really a Pokemon that is hated or mocked or anything like that, but it is pretty unpopular and that would be Ledyba and Ledyan. Now Ledyba and Ledyan are actually probably my favorite bug type Pokemon. Number one, because they come from Johto and I love everything Johto related. But number two, they're ladybugs and ladybugs are awesome. And I just really love both of their designs. They just really resonate really well with me and they've always been one of, if not the favorite bug type for me personally. Um, I think the reason why a lot of people don't like Ledian specifically is because it just doesn't do good. There are better bug types out there. Um, I definitely do agree with the notion that Ledian should be part fighting type because it gets access to Comet Punch and it's got the whole puncher thing going on. So bug fighting type would, would have been a really cool uh, typing for Ledian to get it to stand out a little more. However, I have always been of the proponent that you never ever ever judge a Pokemon solely on its strength or its competitive merit. I actually go ahead and judge Pokemon more so based on their design and their personality obviously based on some of the previous picks and Ledyba and Ledian have always just been super awesome for me they've always stood out I've always loved them and appreciated them and like I said they're my favorite bug types so that's why I love them and that's why they're number two Now coming in at number one isn't actually one specific type of Pokemon, it's a whole group of Pokemon. However, when people talk about these Pokemon, they tend to talk about them as a part of a whole group. So that's why I am including the whole group, and that group would be baby Pokemon. Now, the thing that is said time and time again by a lot of people is that baby Pokemon are stupid, they're useless, they just take up a Pokedex slot because they don't do anything, and they just really aren't needed because they just basically are a waste of a Pokedex slot. That's what a lot of people say. However, I disagree, and let me tell you why. The reason why baby Pokemon have merit, number one, if for nothing else, they're freaking adorable. Like, I can't understand why no one would like a super cute Pokemon, even if it doesn't do 
anything else. Like, they're just really cute. Like, Pokemon like Cleffa, Igglybuff, Elekid, Magby, Bonsai, Mime Jr., all of these Pokemon are really, really cute. So even if they don't do anything else, it's nice to have them there just to have a cute looking Pokemon. I mean, at the very least, they make for a really good plushie. The second reason why I really like baby Pokemon, and admittedly, they haven't been used for this reason a ton, but they have been sometimes, is because they allow you to gain earlier access to the Pokemon that they evolve into by placing these baby Pokemon in earlier routes of the game. Now, like I said, this hasn't been always used. However, it was used at times like Black and White 2, for instance, when you could get access to like Elekid and Riolu, even though Riolu isn't technically a baby Pokemon, but they have that opportunity there where Game Freak can place them in early routes of the game so you can have access to these awesome Pokemon like Magmar, Magmortar, Electabuzz, even Jinx, for instance. All of these Pokemon that you wouldn't normally get until later at the end game you have access to them now because of their baby forms and I just think that's really cool. Again, that's not something that has really been used a ton, but it has been used before, and it always has the potential to be used in the future, which could potentially make Pokemon, or baby Pokemon, very useful and very viable. And once again, if for nothing else, they're babies. Like, even in real life, you can't really hate a baby. They don't really do anything except sit there and look cute. So, for all of those reasons, baby Pokemon are my number one generally unpopular Pokemon that I secretly love. And there you have it guys, those were my top five unpopular Pokemon that I secretly love. It really feels good to be able to give some extra love and some extra attention to these unpopular Pokemon that are generally hated on or even forgotten about altogether, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and let me know down in the comments below what you think of my opinions or if you have an unpopular Pokemon yourself that you secretly like. As for the channel moving forward, now that we are officially back, we are going to stick with our previous schedule of Tuesdays and Saturdays, so there will be two uploads a week once again, and it's going to be awesome. I am really excited for that. Also, if all goes according to plan, I am filming this ahead of time, obviously, but if all goes according to plan, I actually have some original music that should be up on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, if everything works out the way that it should. If it is available on iTunes, Google Play, etc., you can check the iCard. The iCard will pop up. It'll be linked in the description, and I also want to know if it's something you guys would like to see on the channel. It is original, so it's not Pokemon related, but it is music, and I know there's a smaller, dedicated group of you guys that really like my music, so if there's enough demand, I can actually go ahead and make a video for it specifically and put it up on YouTube. Um, let me know. I, I would like to see like a specific number. Maybe we could get, if we can get like a hundred comments saying, yes, I want to see it, then I will put it up and make it a video. However, if you just want to grab it on iTunes or listen to it on Spotify, it should be in both of those places if everything went well, like I said. Uh, with all of that being said, though, I think that's really everything I needed to say. I'm just really glad to be back. On Tuesday, we will be following up this video with a counterpart video, which will be the top five popular Pokemon that I secretly hate. And if you thought this video was a doozy, uh, wait for that one. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe if you haven't. Definitely going to want to check back on Tuesday for that one. And with all of that being said, I'm just really glad to be back, guys. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And until the next one... I'll smell you guys later.